Greetings, and welcome to Kinsium Solutions feature on our document management system, DocSept. Now, this is going to be the first in a series of videos that's going to showcase our document management system, DocSept, uh, and kind of showcase just how powerful a tool it really is. So let's go ahead and get started here. Now, I've already logged into the system, so I'm going to bring up my landing page or my home page here. What you're going to see is a very user-friendly, uh, easy to read and easy to navigate layout. There's not a lot of extra unnecessary items uh, for your navigation of the system on here. Uh, and just a really good solid place for you to start your work at. We'll start over here on the left hand side. You'll see five quick action tabs that we have. Um, we'll go up to my recent activities. What that allows you to do is it brings up your uh, most recent 10 documents or files that you were working with uh, so you can quickly access those and uh, go back to work on them. Uh, generally you're going to find out that whatever you were doing the day before uh, when you come in in the morning and bring this up it allows you to get back to work right on to on task and where you were at the day before. New uploads. Under new uploads it's again the same it gives you the top 10 uh, showcases the ones that you were most recently uploading into the system, gives you quick access to those. It has the date and timestamp here, as do all of them, so you can see when they were uh, brought into the system. Recently modified. This showcases the most recently modified uh, files that were brought into the system. Again, it gives you a date and timestamp, uh, and each of these icons gives you quick and easy access to where they're at in your system, so you can begin working with them again. My emails. This is a really nice feature. It gives you an overview of the subject matter of uh, your emails. It's easily configurable to any of the email platforms that are out there, whether it be Yahoo, Gmail, uh, or Outlook. So that's a pretty handy tool as well. And lastly, my open tasks. This is going to become readily apparent just how valuable of a tool uh, a document management system is. Under my open tasks, this is part of the task approval or uh, workflow management portion of DocSept. Uh, what happens here is that files that are within your workflow that are actionable or need action taken to them will show up here as an alert mechanism uh, to allow you to get into there and uh, access your documents in part of the workflow uh, and continue that and use your workflow pop properly. Over on the right hand side here you're going to see four different graphic uh, representations of the system. The MySpace usage is configurable by user. You can dictate uh, how many or how much memory uh, can be accessed or used by your specific user. The next one over is the repository usage. It just shows you the total volume uh, in your system. Below that you have two other files. Uh, or two other icons. One of them is going to show you the different variations of your file types that are within your system. This gives you a nice overview so you can see which uh, or what types of files are taking up most of your space or being used the most. And of course over here on the far right side it kind of shows you uh, a pie chart of searchable versus non-searchable content. Now non-searchable content is going to be things like executable files and system files and that sort of thing. So we can go up here and we'll take a look at the uh, initial navigation tabs. Uh, we have our home page where we're at here. Then you go and go to the Explore tab here. This is going to bring up a typical file tree hierarchy. Uh, this is kind of the meat and potatoes of the system. This is where you're going to do the majority of your work. Uh, and again, we'll get further in depth with this into our subsequent videos. The search pane. Uh, this allows you to do many different search features, everything from file name, file keywords, date range. Uh, you can get into some advanced search options as well. And again, these are going to be in our subsequent following vid videos. And of course, the administration tab. Uh, this is where your administrator is going to be able to de define workflows, uh, different metadata applications, uh, different user setups, and uh, different configurations of the system. We'll go back to the home page here. And again, this is just the first look at our system. Uh, to be sure, there's going to be a lot more to come. I hope you'll join us to see just how effective uh, a document system like DocSep can be, and, and in turn, how it can save you time and, of course, money. Uh, thanks again for your time, and I uh, hope to see you at the next installment.